Hello everyone, I'll be now showing you guys how to get started with React and as well as quick demonstration on how a grocery list would get implemented. So let's just get a quick demonstration. So if we want to add an item, we just name it and click the add button. And if we want to delete, we just click on them and they get deleted from our list. So let's do this. So first thing first, you want to install create react app so just like so I've already have installed um, you just want to have the slash G so that it's um, you don't have to reinstall create app every single time um, but I'll be just using npm x create react app and name it grocery list and let that run and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so once the installation has been completed, we can now open our project. So if we open this up, we will open CRC folder. Inside the CRC, the one that you're mostly going to be using is the app.js. So inside the app.js, you're going to get a function. And this is where you're going to be placing all the other components in from your project. So this is really the parent component that relates everything that is in your project to displaying it on a browser. And so you can see that this function gets exported to the index.js, which calls a React DOM. So as you can see, there's the app call. And it then sends it to the ID root. And if you're curious to see where this is if you open public index.html, you can find your ID root here. So let's go back to the app.js and show you some cool features that come with React. So if we start up our, our application, so as you can see, you see that. And the cool thing about React is so if we change this to have a h1 tag and just say real quick hello world, it uh, and when we save it, it automatically saves and renders that for us so we don't have to deploy React every single time. Okay, now we can get started on creating our grocery list. So first thing first, I'd like to just crop in a bit just so you guys have a better view of what I'm doing. And what we want to do is import React as well as uh, use date, which is for hooks from React. Pretty basic that is. And then um, what you want to do is we want to keep track of our list. So how we do that is by using hooks and we'll have our element list and set list. So we can call this function set list and pass it whatever we need to populate our list, which is pretty cool. So if we just set that to use state and just be an array, um, that will work. And another thing we got to do is constant. We got to keep track of our input field. So this will be input data set input data use state and just set it to nothing for now okay so once that's done we can now create our view so we're gonna have two divs one div for our input and the other div for our list okay so in our input div we're gonna create a input type text value this is going to be our input data because currently if we just display like this we can't type anything so we have to do a on change which will take our event pass it to set input data and save the target dot value okay so 
Let's try it. Yep, it's saving stuff. Cool. And now we want to create our submit button. So input type button value add. And now we want to click uh, on click. So once we click on this, we want to send our call to handle add item. Okay. Oops. Let me close my input. And so now we have to create this handle add item. So constant handle add item. And this is going to be a function that we want to first create a new list that holds all the current lists so dot 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 list and also hold title which is going to be our input data okay so now that sh works we also want to set that list to our new list and we also have to reset our input data so that it looks like it worked so let's see and let's double check if we are receiving this new list so let's check so a yes we are receiving an item okay cool so now we we then want to display those items onto the screen how we're going to do this is by creating a list dot map which will take our items from the list as well as the index of such item pass it to this function which will return the element we want to create. So I'll make a div for um, Okay. And then inside our div, we want to create a p tag, whoops, containing our item dot title. Yep, looks like it's working. Cool. So now what we want to do, we want to add also a title to our work. So grocery list. Cool. And now we have to create the functionality that once you click on it, it removes. So how to do this is we're going to attach a on click button onto our P tag and repeat the step we did with the handle add item pretty much. So we want to take our components and send it to handle handle remove item and we want to pass it our index. Oops. And now we have to create our handle remove item, pass it our index inside our index. We want to find, well, first we want to keep track of our new list that we're going to be creating and just do a for loop and remove the item that we don't need. Okay, there we go. And so we have to make sure that our index is not equal to i. If not, we have to remove the item. So just by having a loop like this, and with the if statement, we can remove that. And so in our new list, we want to push our list component. Once we've gotten all our 
items, we now want to push our new list to our current list. So, new list. And now, let's test it. So, let's add a few more elements. Orange, melon. And if you click on them, yep, it deletes them. Awesome, that sums up our our demo for today. I hope that you understand a bit more about the use of use states at, with hooks and also how you'd be using React in general. Thank you for watching. Take care, everyone.